Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Quasimorph, shall we? Alex, Siloom, good evening, good to see you. Yes, Alex, you know, I was going to play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead tonight, and I love that game, but I felt like I just want to try something new. And, you know, this game was on sale. It had been on my list for a while. It's also a roguelike. It's roguelike Monday. So I thought, let's just play a new game. Let's just see what's out there and have some fun with Quasimorph. Now, I don't know if this is the kind of game that's going to be fun because it looks really difficult, but I'm going to try it and enjoy it anyway. So let's fire it up with a brand new game for the first time here. And let's go. The history of humanity is written in tears and blood. Liars, tyrants, idealists, they all tried to bring happiness on the edge of a sword. We waited for liberation from the shackles of fate, and were ready to go through the last judgment for it. Not for the glorious death for the eternal kingdom, love, or the Lord, but for a way to step off the path of suffering. I'm into that. But when the apocalypse came, we shrugged our shoulders and started profiting from it as usual. Yep. The creatures lurking in the depths of space didn't seem scarier than our own world. Armed with the hope that the darkest hour comes before dawn, we try to survive until the first rays of the sun. All right, so this is pretty grim. Uh, terrifying capitalistic vent on, you know, some Xeno excitement. Good morning, boss, says Jane. Let's first restore memory after the diapause. During the ENCOM mission on Venus, we awakened a quasi-morph named uh, Tezcatlan. I'm not saying that even remotely correctly. I'm just going to call him Tez, or them Tez. Now his quasi-morphs are still in our world, which is weird. There is no information in the news that we're involved. Meanwhile, corporates insist that quasi-morphosis is a fabrication and claim that Tez is a provocation by civil resistance. We are now orbiting Phobos and have time to recover and figure out what to do next. The supplies on the ship are running low, so we need to find ourselves some new, profitable... Attention! Attention! Vector 4, Sector 6, Northern Hemisphere 5 launches detected. Rocket engines approaching rapidly, activating countermeasures. Magnum, grab onto something. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> exactly, Siloom. So from what I understand, this game is, obviously we got space going on, and it's an extraction roguelike that's, it was in a bundle with stone shards, so you might have some of that. It might be like a roguelike that's um, visceral, challenging, difficult, and I've heard that, and I'm excited. I mean, I like a good challenging roguelike that just humbles me as a human being to the nth degree, so let's see. I like these graphics, it's kind of fun. Oh. Oh, the Magnum took some, some shots there. It seems to be civil resistance. We need to clear them out from Magnum. Our future depends on it. Okay, first pilot. If our future depends on it, let's remember how to move. To navigate, use left mouse button on the required square or up down left or right on the keyboard in the bottom left corner of the screen you'll find your energy reserve pain threshold counter health and movement mode the movement mode determines how many action points you have until opponents take their turn okay so fantastic it's a turn based make sure no one is behind you press right mouse button to look around in the closet behind you, you'll find standard equipment. Use it. All right. So this is my health monitor. This is no pain level. Um, this is my satiety level. 
Oh, I took a step forward. Uh, well, this looks like the locker. Okay, yeah, here's the storage. Cool, I love these graphics. It, you know, it totally reminds you of uh, the original XCOM with these, like, pixelated sci-fi graphics. Uh, so I am currently wearing um, a Hyber shirt. That doesn't sound like the most formidable armor. You know what, Alex? I've never once heard of Arzette, the Jewels of Faramore, but it sounds cool. Uh, and so if I mouse over stuff, it gives me some good information about it, and this is about as bad as it gets. But this t-shirt uh, looks like it. you could see in the green like what it's improving, so I can just uh, equip it. And um, this is a tactical backpack. So I will uh, equip this as well. Oh, funny. So I owned one of the Zelda CDI games, Alex, now that you mention that. Um, and I sold it. I never played it. Aren't those like uh, kind of point and click, like laser discs, like cinematic games? Maybe I'm not thinking about the right thing. I thought it was like Dragon... Oh, Dragon's Lair, you know, but I, I could be wrong. Oh, they're bad side-scrollers. Okay, then never mind. All right, um, let's look at this tactical pistol. So you can see the condition here, 14 to 24 damage. Does 36 crit damage. It has four range ammo per shot, one or two, two reload duration. A lot of information here. I mean, it gives me the degrees at which it scatters. That's pretty impressive. We're just going to um, equip this. Take it. And we'll take this. Um, this is a mag vest, which uh, I equipped that as well down here. Wow, I get a lot of good equipment. So uh, these are some jeans. God knows I need some jeans. Sneakers hit me. Splint, okay, take it. Antibiotic, we'll take it. And a bandage, we'll just take all. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I when I had the box for that game, one of those Zelda games, it was sealed. Um, I never played it, but it was like I only saw the cutscenes. That's the only thing they showed, you know, on the box. And so it looked like a Dragon Slayer type animated game leave the cabin and head to the elevator it's in the room across we need to eliminate all these bastards boy you seem to know a lot about their parentage all right um so i can walk around and it looks like you have some light yeah i really like oh you could zoom in and out that's cool all right let's see here uh i can yeah use right click to kind of face around and and look without moving um, let's see if there's anything on this storage. There's not. And I've looked in there. Uh, let's. You can mouse over stuff to see if you can interact with it, which is cool. I'm going to use the... Uh, you can't use the numpad, but you can use the direction pad. If you press key T, you can get information about the mission status or request evacuation. Evacuation is done via elevator or shuttle, but right now we have nowhere to retreat. That's bad. Okay, so let me look at this. <laughs> that is hilarious, Alex. I love it. Those voice actors are probably like, wait, we're getting work again? To move between station levels, use elevators or stairs. In the elevator control window, all floors connected by the elevator shaft are displayed. Press the floor you need. I strongly recommend starting with the med bay. If we lose the bio printer... There will be serious difficulties in cloning you or other fighters. That's creepy. Okay. So, I really like what I'm seeing so far in the game. I'm getting some, you know, Jupiter Hell vibes, but let's push T. Clear all floors of Magnum Invaders. Med block, the data is being refined. Armory, the data is being refined. Engine room, it's being refined. All right, so that's what they want me to do objective-wise. Um, I push T, and that's kind of what I got. If I push M, oh, cool, I get a little map there. That makes sense. Um, 
tab opens your inventory. I believe they said that. Hey, Christian, what's up, my friend? Austin, what's up? Thank you for subscribing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Do I want to go to the med bay right away? I always like to, in games like this, uh, explore fully the floor that I'm on. Um, doesn't look like I can interact with that. Yeah, you could see how it's very much like Stone Shard. It might even be the same developers. It was in a bundle, so usually that happens. But you see how you have the same kind of like click to move controls, but it's turn based. Um, I like how the drink is called YOLO. Um, I guess it's spelled L O or Y O L L O. Um, and then these auto doors um, are not opening. I can attack them, but I don't think that's going to do anything. So let's just go. Uh, I'm going to push R to reload, and then we're going to go down here. Okay, station elevator. Um, I can go to the bridge, the bent bo block, the armory, or the engine room. A massive moving platform that allows you to move between the levels of the station. I like how it has hit points. That's terribly disconcerting. I'm going to go to the med block because they recommended it. Jane told me med block, and I'm listening to Jane. This is the med bay, where the bioprinter is located. The perfect place to remind you about your health. If your health reaches zero, you will die. Good to know. If your pain threshold reaches its limit, you will skip a turn. Damage you receive can lead to injuries or limb loss. Keep an eye on that. Take a close look at the health interface by pressing the H key. Um, and I pushed H. I'm sending a signal to your computer about a new wound. You need to fix it. To do this, press the left mouse button on the medical kit to your right. Then select the injured body part. Okay. Oh my god. Yep, so this is very much like Stone Shard, right? I've got a paper doll with all my injuries. I have the injuries up here as debuffs, and um, I have a fractured knee joint, and I have need to fix it, so I guess we need to... Uh... Same publisher. That makes sense, Alex. Siloom, isn't that a disturbing thing to hear? They're like, boy, most people would have passed out with what I just did to you. You're doing great. All right, so um, I guess I apply... They both stabilize the wound. Um, I have two different things. So I'm going to use... I don't know if the sequencing matters. I'm just going to use the splint on this. And then it's red... It's infected, so I'll put the bandage on too. I don't know that I don't think that did anything. I think I wasted something. It seems you've acquired an infection. Oh, I do have antibiotics. Open your inventory by pressing I and use a sorbent or antibiotic. If the wound is not fixed, it develops faster. Oh yeah, people hate that Stone Shard has not been updated. For sure. I get people who come into my videos on Stone Shard and leave angry comments about the developers. Um, I guess for me to see. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, take this. It's in all fairness, the, the updates to that game have been very slow in coming. Uh, but I believe that the last I checked... The developers were from Ukraine, and there's a bit of a conflict going on. Uh, in extreme cases, you can perform an amputation. To do this, select Amputate in the context menu of a sharp object and choose body part. Now, wait a minute. I'm not ready for that. Note that you can't bandage yourself while in sprint mode. Amputate? It's true, Siloom, and that definitely... I mean, I've seen it happen all the time that early access games get abandoned. And it's... It's not ideal. Um, what's this? Uh, there's poppy straws. Um, I guess these are, you know, a medical... I can put myself to sleep with poppies. <laughs> all right, I've looked in all these containers. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, let's go over here. It's true. It is the risk. And it's, you know, you get it for cheaper than full release, but yep, it's always a, a risk. Oh, 
or sometimes games get changed in in an unfavorable way. I've been seeing people respond negatively to, for example, Traveler's Rest and some of its updates, um, making the game not what it was initially. Okay, we got some people in the old tubes here. All right. Um, they look good. Everything seems fine. I don't see what the problem is. Oh, it's a toilet. Oh, my God. I found water in the toilet. Take it. Dr um, okay. Looks like my health is pretty good. I'm at full health now. Um, my metabolism, you know, is going down a bit because I haven't found any food yet. Oxygen's okay. Let's roll. It really was, um, Alex. It was bare bones. <laughs> exactly, right? You, it's just, you can't please everyone, right? I actually do want to try Traveler's Rest, but start it up from the beginning again. Uh, after the next major update comes out and see how it plays. Autodoc allows you to treat wounds or infections if it has charges. You can recharge it with standard batteries. Hurry, I've spotted an enemy in the room below you. Deal with them. Oh, cool. I love that that happened. All right. Uh, boop, boop. Sorry. Oh, my God. My mouse was acting up here. Can I... Uh, is there an easy way to just get back to my character? Hmm. Oh, escape seems to have done it. Hey, Procrastinator. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, okay, let's see. The Autodoc Autonomous Healing Station for Health Restoration requires charges to use. It has three. It, re it requires charges to use, and it has three, rather. Okay. Um, all right. So, let's see. Uh, what's in these cases? Oh. Sweet, sweet stuff. All right. So, there's an enemy, and there is. This is uh, a fighter. Oh, my God. They have a gun. A Civil Resistance Forces Combat Unit. Uh-oh. Well, this isn't good. So, um... Hey, Christoph, good evening, my friend. You know what? Um, I've had some other viewers recommend this game as well. And I'm checking it out for the first time myself tonight. So I'll uh, you can check it out with me and see if it's interesting. It's on sale, uh, if that's helpful. It certainly helped me. Um, I'm going to shoot this guy, I guess. I shot him. And... Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Um, I hit this guy, but... Did I hit him? Wait a minute, is there a combat log? Uh, let's see. How do I know how much damage I did? Okay, alt, um, highlights, objects, spacebar is skip. Um... That's cool, Kristoff. Hey, Grim. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. All right, I'll just keep shooting this person. Looks like they got hurt that time. If I look at them... Oh, here we go. I can click on this. There's two tabs. You can see their inventory, and then their health is on this other tab. Okay, you got it. Here we go. Now I know how much damage I dealt to them. Oh, my God. Great job. Pay attention to the body. Click on it to loot. If you want to stand on the corpse without inspecting it, 
Use control left mouse button for movement. When you're done here, return to the elevator and descend to the next level. In the top right corner, there's a mini map and current mission status. Use these buttons if you forget what's happening. I love how there's like, if you want to just stand on the corpse. Um, yes, I do, but uh, not. So there's some uh, naloxone, which, uh, okay. Cures addictions. Uh, very good. And then what you got here? Uh, this person has a scorpion submachine gun. Um, it's got better range than what I have, but otherwise it's worse. And then they have, ooh, they have way better equipment. It's not in the best condition because I just shot this person, but, um, uh, here, I'm going to take your stuff. Unequip. Yeah, yeah. Now you equip. There you go. Here, you can wear my t-shirt. Here, buddy. And I'm going to take your boots. Now they're going to think I'm a part of the guerrilla forces because of my new equipment. Um, these are 9mm bullets, and so are these. So the ammo for these guns work the same. Um, but I'll keep mine. I mean, I bet this is auto-fire. It does have a larger magazine. And it... Um, oh, you can go to... There's different fire types. So if I, I could do burst fire... Okay, here we go. One ammo per shot. Accuracy 95. Scatter 4. Less accuracy, two ammo per shot. That's cool. Well, maybe I do want to take their submachine gun then. I'm going to experiment. Oh, I can dual wield. Oh my goodness. Wait, right, maybe you can't. Maybe you have to push... Uh, Oh, no, no, you can't do wield. I can just push S to switch switch between my weapons, but, um... Okay, I've reloaded. I'm going to use the submachine gun because it has better range. I'm going to look around a little bit. I can't get here, so this is like the outside of the ship into space, I guess. I'm able to breathe miraculously. All right, and I can't loot their ship, it doesn't appear, so let's go. And I think I've taken everything I need to take. I was not injured in that little fight there. And they want me to go back to the elevator. Clear all floors of Magnum Invaders. Med block cleared. All right. So this is very similar in the tutorial to um, Stone Shard. They give you an injury, you fix it, you're trying to escape. Let's roll. All right, we're going to the armory. And here's our arsenal. Ammo and melee weapons have different damage types, and armor has different resistance types. Choose wisely with what and how to attack to win. Okay. Let's go over here. I suggest hiding behind cover to make it harder for enemies to hit us. Excuse me. To do this, stand on the highlighted square. The cover can stop a bullet if you're not shooting directly from behind it. If your shooting trajectory intersects the cover, it'll be highlighted in red. Okay, so this is the cover square. Oh, yeah, well, it's just a big barrier. Gotcha. Great, here's some more useful information. If you ever want to shoot somewhere other than the enemy holds shift, your cursor will change to a crosshair and the shooting trajectory will be displayed. We have a fuel barrel for the flamethrower. You can blow it up with a shot, just don't catch fire yourself. Fire is very dangerous. Really? Okay. Um, I'm going to try to shoot this. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. I pushed the wrong button. I pushed S instead of shift and got myself shot. I ran out from behind cover for no reason. Um, but let's see what this person is doing. They're, uh, hurt. Okay. Let's, let's shoot them. I'm going to... 
I switched my weapon. I, I'm on burst fire, though, so here you go. Double shot, they're dead. All right, so I got myself infected. Food damage. I'm bleeding. That's not good, is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, infection minus 20%. All right, that's good for the infection. Oh, should have used this instead. Here we go. Uh, that takes care of my infection. And... Uh, do I want to bandage anything? I'm probably okay. Ooh, the Enigma. The electromagnetic gun. Well, I'll try it. Oh, it takes two slots. Okay. Here. We could see if it's good. I'll try to use it instead of this pistol, for example, just to see how it is. Wait a minute. Put this here. And put that there. There you go. Alright, so... Uh, anything else over here? What's in here? It's just... Infection, 70%. What? From what? I cured my entire infection. Stomach damage due to damage from eating. But what did I eat? Did... Did I push the wrong button? Uh, okay. Hey, Crab, good evening. Good to see you. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Press Q to quaff, and then H to see my screen. Thank you. Okay. Um, alright, what's over here? Now I keep... The infection keeps... Maybe there is poison in this room. And I could go back to the uh, med bay... And use the thing. Uh oh. Fighter. To the right of the active weapon is the button to select shooting mode. Hover the cursor over it to see the advantages and disadvantages of each. So I fired a single shot. And um, I killed that person in one shot. So that was pretty successful. All right, so they have... Ooh, they have a assault rifle. My goodness. Well, Q to quaff is not confusing, but um, do I get to select what I'm drinking? Like, I have a few different things. Does it just automatically select what you need to be drinking? Hey, hey! Sentience Generation, good evening. Oh, this is what's wrong. I got shot in the stomach. I don't think I have anything to fix it with. I could try, though. Not really. Alright, so... Uh, these... Some of this stuff is better than what I have. This is better. This has better resist fire. So we'll go ahead and just put this on. Okay. Um, so the assault rifle... I'm guessing... Uh, does it use... What type of... It uses a different type of ammo than... They have some of it. Um, I don't probably need these hyper clothing pieces. My backpack is rather small. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that I want the... Nine... The submachine gun instead of my 
pistol. And then I'll take this assault rifle as, you know, a backup choice to see how it goes. I don't know if the Enigma electromagnetic magnetic gun is something that, like, once it runs out of batteries or whatever, if I can reload it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to the med bay really fast. Well... I'm getting hurt like every step that I take. Go back to the med block. <laughs> Nuka Cola, now that's a drink. Um This helps with pain. Nah, I don't really have anything. I think I'm just gonna pass out here. Yeah, what happens? Um I started here on the armory. Santiago, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. Okay, so I am here. I don't know if that used a charge from the mid block, but we'll just keep going and pretend like it didn't happen. This might be a clone that we're looking at. Um, all right. Ooh, shotgun. Nice. Well, it's the finest drink from Fallout that you could get. Uh, okay, this person is gone. Uh, they've got some Chick Chick Synthetic Chicken. Now, that sounds delicious. But now that I'm dead, I don't really need that. I will take these bullets. And... Let's see. Yeah, I'm fine. Ooh, Six by three. Oh, this military backpack is better than my backpack. I got more space. Sweet. Okay. All right. And then, did you have a backpack too that I just missed? Nah, she didn't have a backpack, but that guy did. That's great. I'm glad you did. All right. There's their ship. Let's see what's in here. Um, bodybuilding increased to level two. Look, I don't know why that happened, but I'm happy it did. I'm always boosting my bodybuilding just every day. Just, I'm lifting weights right now. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is the ship they came in on. The ship's kind of, it reminds me slightly of in Underrail, like the, uh, the faceless ships that are like drills that they bury in with. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, the TV show looks pretty good. I'm interested anyway. I'll check it out. All right, so now we need to go to the engine room and see if there's any more baddies over here. Someone threw grenades into the machine room again. I'll deal with them later. Grenades are used from the utility belt slots. Activate grenade using uh, the corresponding hotkey pressing left mouse button. Once you're done, head to the... Cubocentric engine on the left. Okay. So we'll pick up some grenades and um, take it. And oh, I see down here. I've got two of them. Nice. Now, can I just put it in my bag? I can. What's in this? Oh, this is a stationary turret. That sounds sweet. Yeah. I always want a stationary turret. Uh, what's the range on this? It's range 5. It's good. That's a great point, Procrastinator. It has been a while since I've played Fallout 5. Call nodes have barricaded themselves in the upper compartment. Get ready for a serious battle. Use cover and don't play hero. We have several stationary turrets and mines. They're used in the same way. From the inventory with right mouse button. Opening the context menu, you need to select Use. Turret or mine in this case will be installed in the cell next to you in the direction you are facing. Prepare for defense. We have a little time. Just in case the key for skipping a turn is space. It might be useful if you need to wait for a few turns. Okay. So, um, now she said they're coming. 
Okay, here's a mine. So I can grab it. And then we could start putting these mines down to trap them. Now, what's this? This is... Okay. Some bullets. Take it. Okay. Now, you said clear all floors of Magnum Invaders. Right, right, right. Remaining to kill six. Okay. So, they're going to be coming from up here, I guess is what they're saying. Or down below. Well, I'm about to make the wrong choice and just pretend like they're going to come from up here. Uh, behind these locked doors and I'll hide behind a cover. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, use... Okay, that... Not quite... Now I know where it places it. I, I thought... Okay. Destroy them before they blow up the Cuba-centric engine. Um, all right. So, well, here they come. And I'm going to go ahead in my inventory, and we're just going to um, use this. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to also uh, use this. Or Did you use it? Or maybe I don't have enough space for you. There it goes. All right, I'm going to step over here. And I'm just going to wait a few turns. They're firing. I'm going to look up this way. And I can't see anything right now. I'm just waiting. Oh, there we go. There's something. Okay, it's dead. Uh, there's... There looks like two dead bodies, so there's four remaining. I'm just waiting. Uh, my turret doesn't look very good. Okay, here they come. Um, how big of a radius is this? Three? So I'm going to wait one more turn. I think they're going to have to come in closer because nobody has... One, two, three, four, five, six range, I don't think. The range on this is five. Yeah, they're going to have to come one more closer. Or not. <laughs> All right. Um, here, go ahead and throw this then. Oh, it's three from the central point. That's a huge radius. Goodness gracious. Um, okay. Yeah, throw it right. Uh, there. Uh, okay. Did I throw the grenade? What's going on here? Maybe I didn't do that right. Does it take a turn to explode? Three turns to explode. Oh, okay. Yes, it's turn-based. Okay, that's what it was. I thought it would explode the next turn. I was wrong. I'm going to just chuck as many grenades as I've got then. Alright. I'm behind cover. Here they come. Man, this gun right here, the electromagnetic gun, it pierces. Like, it seems incredible. Okay, the grenade blew up. Now it's just this guy. This person maybe is on death's door there. These people are stunned. Dead. Well done, Frank. Oh, my name is Frank. All invaders eliminated and Magnum is no longer under threat. See you at the bridge. Over and out. Now, call me Mr. Picky, but generally throwing grenades on a spaceship is not the best idea, but we did win. It's over. The Magnum has sustained minor damage. Basically, it won't affect the functionality of the equipment and crew, so we can go where we want and do what we want. That's right. The system is open to us. By the way, I will say, um, Jam Nuska, good evening. 100%. This is the tutorial because I just booted it up. Um, Mr. Frank Piggy, that's my name, right? I don't, I'm not judging. I'm just saying... I know Jane is only in green, and we see her through, like, the, you know, holographic lens here, but Jane looks like she, you know, uh, has been in the tanning bed for about 300 years. All right, um, okay, so we can finish the mission. And this is Francis Reed Daly. We could certainly do as Jane said... Contracts are waiting, but as the saying goes, honor is lost, everything is lost. Honor is preserved, everything is preserved. I've never actually heard that one before, but that's okay. Uh, 
we were able to track down the exact location of the shuttle launches. It's Rogue City. Most likely, Civil Resistance has set up a training center and a transshipment point there. Before we start chasing money, I suggest dealing with them right here and now. Um, okay, it looks like time is moving. I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Okay, he wants to deal with them right here and now. I don't know what that means. I don't know what this means. Rogue City. Um, I can go to these other places. I'm in the orbit of Phobos. Okay. Uh, here's the stock exchange. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. Um, I'm just going to click where it's blinking. Okay. Great. I'm glad that honor is not just an empty word to you. Um, it, it's, the word is so full. Just trust me. Boss, just in case, I'll remind you about the standard mission preparation interface. On this screen, you choose the operative who will go on the mission, the chip with combat skills that will be integrated into the freshly printed clone, and the equipment that we will issue to the fighter for the mission. Interesting. So it's like maybe the, the chips are like different character classes, you know, like melee fighter, range specialist, stealth person, whatever. Um, so, uh, we're at Rogue City. The Rogue City Station's autonomous missile defense server must be destroyed. Let's get it. Details. The Civil Resistance Colonodes attempted to attack our mobile headquarters. We have successfully fought back and must now counterattack their training center. Extra. On Mars, Phobos, and Deimos, colonies often combine opposite functions. Rogue City is both a charging and repair terminal for ground vehicles, and at the same time serves as a corporate colony that brings constant dividends for rent to its owner. Ah, it's a slum colony. The, re the rent must flow. Okay, uh, let's select operator. This is the bioprinter screen. Here, you can choose a fighter to go on a mission. The list includes both those who survived previous missions and those who need to be printed. <laughs> I need to be printed, let me tell you. Each of the fighters has their own parameters and unique talent. They have all been through a lot during years of combat in every corner of the solar system. Okay. All right. So right now, um, I've got Francis or Frank, I guess, who's a scout. And uh, this is their class, Scout of Hades. And this is the class selection screen. In addition to their own experience... Each fighter will benefit from gaining a specific set of skills based on the experience of past military conflicts and digitized experience of special forces. Each class has a set of passive abilities and trigger abilities that are activated under certain conditions. Okay, sure. Um, all right, so I could be the Scouts of Hades or the Eclipse Brigades. And the Scouts of Hades um, have hardening gunsmith blind fury bodybuilding combat focus oh and i did level this up so you can see there's like an experience bar for each of these different abilities and then these level up an archetype class that each bioprinted person can belong to i guess so there's like a, a meta progression behind the scenes okay and then there's this one, Eclipse, which has some of the same stuff, but it has, like, knife fight and reflexes, and athletics, taste of blood, carnage, cannibalism, my god, and gunsmith. Let's just go with Scout and just keep keep it with that. And uh, we can go to the equipment screen. Now you need to gather your equipment. Take whatever you deem necessary, but don't forget ammo, food, and medical supplies. Note that if the operative you sent dies in battle... All the items will be lost, and evacuation is only possible when the mission is completed or we find something valuable like a new consciousness chip. I need a new consciousness chip. God. It does look complicated, but I think it's cool. So, you could see how everything that I successfully completed the mission with, all of the loot, is now here for me to potentially use to equip my new character. So, this is my cargo, and... Um, I know. It's a good question. Um, I've got some tourist tactical backpacks, but I've got this... All my stuff got repaired to full, by the way, which is fantastic. There's a, a, a Silent Eagle modified pistol. There's a better submachine gun that looks like... Well, actually, 
This one does more damage. I wonder if I can compare it with something. Uh, okay. Huh. Burning petrol, indeed, and... At least it chars it, right? It's not raw at that point. All right. What do I do? Um, Dr. Jones surgical kit. That sounds pretty hilarious. Um, most of my stuff is superior. I don't think I need to take all of these weapons. It's going to just bog me down. So I will take uh, the rifle... Put these back here. And let's see. We've got these raw medical materials. I just don't see how we would need those yet. But maybe they're good. I don't know. I've got some food. This food is way better. So I'll take these. And then this is... Um, ooh, that's even better for food. This is a bandage. I'll just divide it. I don't need to take all of it. I'll take two bandages. Uh, I could keep some of this stuff. I'm going to put these back. I don't know what they're for. I'd like to have a lot of space just for looting stuff. Oh, thank you. You could craft on the ship. Perfect. That's what I was thinking. Man, would I love that. Um, I don't know if I need to take a knife for if I run out of bullets, but I think I'll be fine. Famous last words, right? Uh, I will take two antibiotics. And I will take two splints. Like this. And I think this is pretty good. I feel like I have a good amount of food. And I can probably procure some stuff on site. Here's my current breakdown of my armor right down here. Let's just see what happens. This is awesome. I'm enjoying this. Great. If you feel ready, it's time to press the start mission button. All right. Start it. Keep in mind that we're not getting paid for this. Wait, what? Taking a contract would have been a better idea. Civil Resistance has set up a field camp in Rogue City. Training complexes as well as some kind of medical facilities or laboratories. It's unclear. Sometimes messages flash in the CBN that terrorists are accumulating rare and valuable items, weapons and equipment for their liberation struggle. Boy, I feel like we're the baddies in this game. Maybe we can justify the time spent here if we're lucky. So let's get even, but let's do it with benefit. Yeah, that's right, Tanning Bed Jane. Get to their anti-space defense complex and destroy it. After that, the pilots will direct Magnum to the cargo dock in Rogue City and will start loading everything that's lying there. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cool. I'm pulling in. Our scanners see several ways to solve this problem. First, there's the main elevator connecting the cargo dock to the control center, but the number of biosignatures at the elevator is extremely high. Obviously, there's a quite strong security there. Secondly, there's a bypass route through the stairs and warehouse level. I would recommend using the second option as our main plan, but if you feel confident, you can act as you think best. Okay. I don't feel confident. Um, recruit, welcome to Rogue City. This station was the tool of thieving vampires, <laughs> sucking the juices from the free people of the solar system. It's now turned to the benefit of the working people. You made the right choice when you decided to leave your employer and get to the nearest civilian resistance base by any means necessary. No more corporate slavery. You are to go through reintegration into organized society. Soon, you will become a citizen again. Right now, you need to go to the training class where you will gradually start to learn what it means to become a full member of the civil resistance. I welcome you and thank you for making the right choice. Um, Isahar. All right. So, <laughs> she does, right, Silum? Here's the deal. I definitely think that... Um, we are part of, you know, Joja in this game. We're, we're the corporate business. And we're going to put down the uh, freedom 
loving rebel scum. Emperor Palpatine is our boss. Okay, so she said the second option was uh, to go through the stairs. And so let's try that. Just going to kind of walk around. All right, there's some cover. Anything in there? No. Nah. What's up here? Big fan. All right. Death barrel. Good. Okay. Corporate desk. Water cooler. Take it. It seems like if the graphic displays that the shelf is empty, that it's always empty, but I don't know if that's the case. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. All right, let's go up here. There's a nice quilt. Oh, this is a huge bathroom. A little rug in here. Yep, get that bathroom water. Love it. Hit me with the toilet water. I'm going to zoom out, get a better view, and zoom back in because I like to see stuff close up. Now, what's this? Um... Oh, no, no, uh, I can't, it's a rod, I can't really examine it. Oh, that's a baddie. Dead. Oh, thank you, uh, Quaff, I appreciate that. Some room nearby is an elevator. Be careful, the signatures of stationary turrets and heavily armored call nodes are clearly tracked there. Whatever kills them can kill you too. You are not special and equipment tends to run out. Okay. Um, this fixes blunt weapons. I mean, I'll take it. Uh-oh. Oh, God, I've missed. I hit him. They're gone. All right. Well, I'm going to use this gun for as long as I can. Oh, my God. Injuries are common in combat situations. The first priority is to treat the wound. You could use bandages, splints, or even ordinary rags for that. To obtain a rag, tear up unnecessary clothing. That's cool. Auto docs and surgical kits allow you to immediately heal any wound. Right. Um, oh, there's a turret and a person. This is not good. I don't know if I can get away from this in time, but I'm going to try. My, I mean, I'm not dead outright, but this is... Not a favorable situation. Let me see if I... Do I have a grenade? I do, but it would take three turns for this to explode. So I kind of need to... Just get out of sight. Thank you so much, Quaff. No, I appreciate it. You're not backseating at all. You, the way I always do these things, uh, just for anybody out there who knows the game, if I ask a question... And you can answer it in a way that's like non-spoilery, but just helps me functionally. That is super, super helpful. So that is not backspeeding. That's just like actually answering my question. Yeah, Francis is in bad shape. So we're going to go into our inventory, and I have a bandage. So I have, um, let me look at my health tab. I have a severe wound and 30% infection progress. So these don't help with that, but this is too severe wound. This is two levels of fracture. So I think we go with... Let me see what we got here. Close it up. This says fracture. So the splint is what I need. All right, that's better. And then it's bleeding as well, though. I wish... Is there a way, like... I guess I'll figure it out as I learn what the icons mean. But it's kind of uh, frustrating that I can't mouse over these debuffs when I'm in the health screen. Or even in the inventory to know, like, what to use. But... Um, oh, okay, it's all gone now. Great. I'm infected, though. So I need to go here. And I need to take the antibiotic. Okay, so that should be okay. I'm going to turn around with the right mouse button. And I'm going to just wait and see if they come out. They're not really coming. So can I um, use the fragmentation grenade? Oh, 
Okay, thank you. It updates after you leave the health screen. Thank you, thank you. That makes sense. Okay. Um, oh, here comes the bad guy. Okay. Uh, by the way, just obviously it makes sense. It's a turn-based game, but putting that item onto my quick slot, like, utility belt did take a turn. So next time when I'm setting up for a mission, I will put those items in there in advance so that I don't have to waste a turn on that. Okay. Oh, the line of fire is blocked by the uh, wall. Wait a minute. What? That doesn't... Okay, so it's not recip like it's not a parallel line of fire situation, or maybe they have like a shotgun or something. I didn't think like I thought if I couldn't hit them, they couldn't hit me. So I was waiting till they came a little closer. That was a tact. I didn't realize that they would be able to hit me. What do you have? They have a plasma generator. Okay, uh, I got to step out and get hit. Um, that's bad. Okay, here. Oh, good. They missed. Oh, dear God. I'm so infected. Uh, they're almost dead. This person is tough. You can change stance to stealth for free. Oh, inventory and healing actions. Thank you. Okay. Some wounds can become infected. To prevent this, use an absorbent or antibiotics. Indeed. I'm just trying to hit this person. I keep missing. Okay. Um, bodybuilding went up. All right. So I am infected. But I don't know if this will treat the infection after the fact. So I could change stances. Run. No inventory available. Skull project. That's scary. All right, I have four hit points. Not ideal. I should have taken that doctor's kit. I didn't take enough stuff. Body burn. I mean, I stabilized it. Water heals. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm burning. Yes. Okay. I dropped some plastic. Okay, whew, thank you. Wait. Two regen. All right, so it's counteracting that. I'm going to take these anyway. Yeah, they didn't do anything. I didn't know if I could fix this after the fact. I guess not. Um, that was, I just wasted those, but that's okay. I'm going to see if we can survive this. Okay, it went away. Okay, so yeah, this is very much uh, in the vein of Stone Shard with the injuries. It seems like I get infected almost every injury. Um, it is the water of life. It's from the toilet, too. It's great. All right, I'm going to eat that. And my health has gone back up. We're almost to full. I'm going to just go ahead and drink the rest of this. Um... I'm picking up the plastic for reasons. And what did you have? Okay, you have some... This. I actually need to eat. My satiety was down. Ooh, she has a big chopper. A makeshift axe. Okay. Um, everything else is, you know, not as good as what I had. Alright. Uh, acid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay. This guy has a makeshift club. Some desert pants. 
Where'd you get those desert pants? All right. And this is 350 calories. Um, okay, you can go up to 2,000. All right. Good to know. Okay. So there's a turret down there, which I'm just going to avoid for now. And here's a baddie. So I want to hit them, but unfortunately the line of fire is no good. See, so I was able to fire behind them and hit them. Well, not every time, but sometimes. <laughs> I guess I got lucky. Uh, it worked. All right, what you got? You have a submachine gun and some armor that's not as good as what I've got. All right, what else we got around here? That is a baddie. What is this? CQC specialist increased to level two. Sweet. I'm good at CQC, just like Snake. All right, I'm going to shoot you. I'll tell you what. One thing that I really enjoy is that, like, unlike Stone Shard, you're actually pretty good at ranged combat starting out. I can hit people. I like that. The preferred chicken of dead fighters everywhere, indeed. All right, so we'll take this. And let's see. Uh, we got uh, explosives and rags. So I'm getting a lot of crafting stuff. There's some uh, Percy Cola. All right. It extinguishes if you're on fire. You just pour soda on yourself. It, it sure does do that. Exactly. Oh, poor snake. All right. What's going on in this room, huh? Oh, it's a workbench I can craft. What's this barrel? Chemtrail. Toxic ammunition. It looks like that. All right, what can I craft here? Um, okay. Like, I can make a splint with plastic and rags. This is cool. I love it. All right. I don't have enough stuff to make anything else, but that's a pretty good start. Yeah, make a splint. Craft it just because you can. I could make a first aid kit with uh, some antibiotics. I unfortunately ate all mine, but, you know, they exist. What's this? Information terminal. Rogue City is secure enough to prepare messages for routing into the external system. I have successfully infiltrated LBSA as a security guard. Some time ago, there was an attack here by HIS Magnum. Hey, that's me. To extract some important prisoner. Maybe that's me too. I managed to establish that his acted as contractors for ANCOM. The chances that my theory is correct have sharply increased. ANCOM is more than just a publisher. Unfortunately, LBSA is now open to attack and its owners will change. I'm not sure if I can continue to provide relevant information. Issahar. All right, the scanner. Uh, station terminal allows you to locate objects, personnel, or elevator. Uh, use it. All right, so you can see um, there's a corpse. This is just where we've been so far. Okay. Barrels, containers. All right. Good to know. All right, let's go. All right, so let me look at the map again. I haven't been up here. Rusty parts. The rustiest of parts. All right. Uh-oh, bad guy. My way is being blocked by this. My line of fire, rather. Oh, they're coming. Oh, the door is also closed. Um, now, they did say that there was a back way that I could go. Oh, I think they came through. What's this? This is a data miner. Terrain scanner. Okay. Did you use it? 
Do I need to use it? Use. Oh, cool. Gives me the whole map. Hey, Leonard. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. All right, so it's it's um see the map type of thing. And this is a uh, barafinal painkiller. All right. Great. We need that. Uh, take it. There's a liberator up there. Let me see this thing. It's a large caliber pistol. It uses, like, the same caliber ammunition as my assault rifle. Looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> More like barfinal, it, indeed. Hey, Rob, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Doing great. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well. We're just exploring a little spaceship here, Rob, and hoping that everything goes all right. <laughs> Actually, no, I think we're on a space station, maybe? I'm not sure. There's a metal pipe. We gotta get water out of this toilet. It's key. Oh, that is feces. They did it. They, uh, they animated feces. We've arrived. Alright. Don't worry, I took the water from around the feces, so it's fine. No contamination. <laughs> All right. Uh, how can we take out this turret? Oh, there's a person. Okay, I gotta get away from this exploding barrel. It's not good. Oh, this guy's got a lot. No, no, I already checked this guy. Here, go over here. You could take that. I'm just gonna wait. They're coming. Trust me. We know you're. Oh, well, maybe they aren't. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, right. I'm going to throw a grenade. I don't know if the turret will take... Um, oh, well, that seemed to work. I was going to say, I don't know if it'll take fire damage. I... Oh, no, she does have a big gun. All right, we got him. So, I never got to loot this person. These... Brigadiers have insane armor. So, it's not as good as my armor at resist fire or resistances, but as far as just blunt and pierce, it's very good at that. This stuff is way better. It's medium armor, where I have, like, working armor. So, um, I'm going to put it on. I'm no good against fire, but I feel good. Okay, thank you. And then this is the plasma generator. Hey, Tambo, how's it going, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. This is a big, huge weapon, but I don't have any plasma, and they don't appear to have any either. I'm going to eat this. Oh, you were right. Here's the Moo Moo. You guys were on it. Hey, Devin, good evening. So glad you could catch it, my friend. Yes, this game is super interesting so far. I'm having a good time with it. Oh, it's my first helmet. Okay, great. I was wondering why it didn't give me a comparison. Now I'm feeling good. Look at my resistances right here. Um, not good against cold or fire, but boy, am I good at regular stuff. I would love to use a big plasma weapon, but I feel a little bit wary if I can't reload it. And I don't know how much I want to prioritize these crafting components when I'm on a run, or if I'd be better served, like, ditching them and taking, you know, something like this insanely large weapon. I don't need this. Let 
Let's see here. I'm going to pretend like I also don't need um, these rusty parts. And then I'll take this just as a consideration. All right, what you got? Oh my God, wait, there's a person. So their resistances are down here. You can see... And my weapon is... This thing is doing piercing damage. And so... They have five pierce resists. So generally people hate this thing. There's 17 ammo for this. That's great. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and ditch... Uh, oh, I can just drink this. And then I got room. There we go. I'm full up on satiety. So, I don't think I need any food. I feel pretty good here. No, no, no. You don't need to drop it on the ground. You can pick it up. Oh. Here, yeah. Put this, uh, put this right here. There you go. Uh, I'm going to switch weapons. I'm going to change it up. And, or I reloaded it anyway. There it goes. Now I'm reloaded. Oh, I do? Oh, down here. You're right. You're right. Okay, I can put a gun down there? If I don't have anything else? Okay. Um, or like I could put anything down there, I guess. I could put this down here. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll just throw some, you know, stuff down here and get a little more space. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Um, that is the turret. Oh. Okay. So I have this weapon equipped, but its uh, range is only five. Oh. It still hit him anyway. They have ammo? Thank you. Let me go get it. Oh boy, that guy got annihilated. Yeah, this weapon is, is really good, but it does use three shots per sh uh, fire. Hey, Alucard. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Control click is what you want if you want to pick it up. That's great. Uh, I'll take your Moo Moo. Uh, okay. Do these stack? They do. Interesting. Alright. So let's see what we got here. I'm moving around. Oh, uh, what's this? There's another turret up there. Alright, we got it. Destroy, oh yeah, I pushed the wrong button here. One, two, three, I'm reloaded. I'm taking it. Did I see Ludion teasing new DLC? I did not. I'd, do you mean for this game? Um, let's see here. I'm going to switch back to my other weapon. Oh, for RimWorld. Cool. No, that's exciting, though. I just thought about playing RimWorld the other day. Alright, so if I look at the map, I still... No, I've cleared out this floor. This is the elevator, and this is the ladder down. We're going to go to the ladder, because they said the elevator was like more difficult and I'm not ready for it my bodybuilding is ready for it though that's a good question procrastinator it's not I think it's from last year it's in early access um, but it's new to me this is my first time playing it 
Oh, you can click all the way over there to move. That's great. Oh, wait. I forgot about all these people. All right. Uh-oh. Here they come. She's down. Big patch later this week? Okay, cool. Uh, don't take all. Just take this water. Try to avoid feces if you can. Uh, this is an armored jacket. Not as good as what I have. Cool, adding Jupiter? Nice. That, is, that does sound pretty big. Yeah, you know, just adding the whole planet. What is this? The stairs lead to the warehouse premises. We have enhanced the resolution capability of the geoscanner. There's medical supplies and some other equipment there. Use everything and you'll easily reach the SD control center. All right, cool. Uh, this is Mr. Meaty. It's meat scented. That's probably good. Oh my god, it left plastic behind. Mr. Meaty. Alright, there's some powder. We can take that. Uh, everything else... Our stuff is probably better. Glass bottle. 9 millimeter nails. Oh my god, they have a nail gun. That's pretty intense. All right, we're going down. What do you got for me? Oh my gosh. Well, what they got for me is a lot of baddies. This thing pierces, though. So you see how I'm just, like, shooting through them and killing everybody? This enigma is my dream. All right. It's going to run out, and then I'm going to be so sad. But for now, I'm using it a lot. Now, uh, what you got? I'm going to zoom out, look around. No, okay. Oh, they got a shotgun. Boy, do I love shotguns. Uh, this is the makeshift helmet. Yeah, I don't need that, but... Uh, I guess I can eat this. Fill up. Alucard, it's the same developer as Stone Shard, so it's kind of like it takes Stone Shard sensibility... Um, and a lot of the, there's some similarities in the gameplay, but it's in a sci-fi world. And it's, instead of having a single hero like in Stone Shard with like an open world, this is an extraction game with levels and missions that you do. And you level up an account and can change uh, your loadout more easily. Yeah, same publisher, that's right. Uh, let's see. Now, my health went up, and I don't know if that's because my bodybuilding has been raising. I had a, a, a ceiling of 75 hit points before, but that seems to have increased. I'm going to have to look into that. I definitely want these antibiotics. There's something I'm going to leave behind, um, like this glass. Yeah, and that's what I did, Alex. And that's just a pro tip to anyone. If you already have Stone Shard like I did, this game by itself is on a 20% sale. But if you buy it in the bundle, even if you already have Stone Shard, Steam prorates it and you get it at like a deeper discount and you don't have to pay for Stone Shard. Yeah, it's great. I think I was able to get it for like 30% off altogether. Ooh, a stun grenade. Now we're talking. Okay, so I'm going to just drop the acid and put this here. Well, I mean, not drop acid, you know what I mean, but rather drop the, the acid container. That would be a bad idea in this circumstance. All right. 
information terminal. Isahar, you should start showing results in the internal system as soon as possible. You are conducting open combat operations, sacrificing many of our call nodes that could be useful to us at Saturn or in our business at trans-Neptunian sites. Okay. You promised to strike a sensitive blow to Realware and reveal the truth about ANCOM, but you did not strike Realware, and your theory about ANCOM may be incorrect. You must conduct an immediate review of the rational use of resources in your sector. Leah. Uh-oh, sounds like Ishahar is getting a little blowback from the higher-ups in the old rebel chain. Um, I'd like to pick up this grenade, but I don't have a spot for it. So what we're going to do is just get rid of some rando crafting component. Put this water here. I'm keeping water, by the way, because it heals you, and it's very important. Yeah, I think I got it for like $12 after the deal. Um, this is a plasma rifle. There's a baddie up here, by the way. Shame on you, bad guy. Wire? Mm, okay, crafting stuff. All right. Oh my god, grenades can stack. Now I feel terrible. An assault pistol. I love when pistols have, like, bayonets. It's so good. Are you sure that's how it's supposed to be used? Just trust me. <laughs> the Gorgon chemical sprayer. Oh my god. I don't think that thing's Geneva Convention legal. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta spray acid and some other chemicals. We're not even really sure all over people. They don't like it. Seems to work out really well. Okay. Um, I'm gonna swamp my stun grenade for a frag grenade. Why stun them when you can kill them? Alright. Uh, let's see. I think I checked all of these crates, yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's my acid. Alright, we're going in. Rubber. A vital crafting component. Uh, this is the same backpack I have, 6x3. Alright, let's see what's down here. Bathroom? No. Not much room. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go up here. Alright, nobody yet. Okay, we could take the barf and then... Nothing else. Let me look at the map. All right, we need to go back to the this main room. Uh, oh God, not that. Uh, maybe you can't do it in. The, oh no, you can just use this. Okay. All right. I guess they did quaff. That was probably one of their first orders of business. All right, this thing's got to go. Wait, they're trying to put rules on combat? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, you're not supposed to hit me. I'm the only one doing the hitting here. All right. I'm going to eat this. I'm so hungry. I need your Moo Moo synthetic beef. It's delicious. All right. Uh oh, bad guy. Ow. Oh, I think they're behind cover. Okay. Well, I mean, I got a boost because I got hit. That's amusing. Take that. Oh, one shot. You gotta love that. All right. Uh, Moo Moo. Eat up. Uh, same backpack. Alright, don't need that. 
I don't need your backpack. It's not good enough for me. It's too similar to my own backpack. This is some noodles. Chicken noodles. Well, that sounds good. I could actually almost consider eating that. This is uh, Cosmos pack of cigarettes. And it decreases your uh, quasi-morphosis. Can I measure that? I don't see any quasi-morphosis. I don't... Oh, no, wait. Is that what this is? No, that's how fast I'm moving. I don't know where that would display, but I'm not seeing it on my thing, so... Yeah, okay. We're fine. No quasi-morphosis here. All right, we're gonna open this door. Give me the good water. Uh, this is a gladiator mag vest and it says, oh, it gives you a boost to reload duration. Size two. Okay, so this determines how much space you have down here. All right, I'm just going to replace it. It's not fully fixed, but it makes me reload faster. Oh, okay. Thank you. Once I leave Mars. Okay. So I'm going to put the ammo down here. So that I might be able to reload it if I need to. Does the, um, the bonus for reload duration with the mag vest... Does this apply if the ammo is in my backpack or only if it's on the quick use screen? Or slot. Alright, uh, let's see here. The number of counterintelligence agents in the streets of real wear inner city is extremely high. My call nodes are constantly at risk of being exposed. From now on, I'm going to keep one bullet in the Liberator for myself. The risk of our secrets falling into the hands of Realware is not justified, especially since this is not our priority target in the internal system, says Isahar. Has to be in best slot. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, there's a little glass over here. I don't need that. Let's see. Some more water. I'll take it. And then this is a sniper rifle. The Archbishop. <laughs> wow. The Archbishop of Canterbury fires a sniper bullet at your face. All right. Oh, batty. That's right. What's this? It's a severed hand. Looks more like a whole severed arm, but we'll just... I'm not going to split hairs on that one. Or split hands on that. Oh. Uh, they have... Ooh, they have a bunch of good stuff, but there's a baddie. Okay, they're gone. Man, that was sweet. So I'm pushing C to open up the operatives class, and I'm just kind of looking at my skills here. And I'm, my squ rank is squatty for missions complete. So it doesn't appear that like while I'm playing, that by killing guys, I'm earning experience per se, just from the kill, like, I'm getting bonuses from doing things. Like, for example, every trigger activation gives 10 experience. Um, gunsmith. Like, some of these things, I'm raising it. Each time you take damage, each shot from... So, shooting give, raises my training... CQ spe C specialist. Um, if you shoot a pistol, this raises. Okay, so you can see how you're raising your different skills. This is really interesting. It's really cool how much different this is. Um, like, some of it feels familiar. Emmy, how's it going? Thank you for subscribing. But it's like they've really iterated on Stone Shard. I feel like this one came after Stone Shard. And it's a different type of game. I This is really well done so far. I'm enjoying it. All right, let's see here. What did you have? 
All right, this guy's got a massive knife, and he has the hobo <laughs> reinforced vest. Well, you gotta love the hobo. It's actually better at... It's more armor than my current vest. That's worth considering. I do enjoy armor. And it's called the hobo. It seems like, you know, who doesn't want to be a hobo? Uh, so, you know, just riding from train car to train car. <laughs> Across America for free on boxcars. All right. Uh, first aid kit. That's great. I find myself just getting rid of all crafting items to try to make room for stuff. Hey, Fading, good evening. Yeah, it's like, it's by the publisher of uh, Stone Shard, so there's some similarities, but it definitely some differences, and it's got that sci-fi vibe. I'm having a good time with it. Exactly. It's by the same publisher. Fading, right now, by the way, if because you already own Stone Shard, you can buy it on Steam as a bundle, and then they prorate the fact that you don't have, that you already have Stone Shard, but it, you get like a double discount because this game is on 20% sale. It's pretty sweet. Space Hobo does sound great, right? All right I'm going to get rid of uh, this powder and just pick up a first aid kit. I can at least use that to not die. So that seems important to me. There's a heavy machine gun. Yeah, that's cool. I'll take this. More grenades, please. Uh, well, now where do I go? Oh, here. Derp. Okay, so this floor is complete. I'm taking probably too long. It exactly, Fading. It is like Jupiter Hell a bit. Finally, you're at the SD Control Center. Jane, give me a break. It's full of Civil Resistance fighters. A bioscanner is registering spikes in their endocrine systems. It's madness. Maybe there's a way to bypass them. Pay attention to the technical corridors and ventilation shafts. If you picked up heavy weaponry from the warehouse, you shouldn't have many problems. Once you find their PCO control computer, just destroy it with whatever's at hand. Okay. Um, so I'm here, and there's bad guys right here. But they're trainees, so, um, you know, oh god. Take the hat. Wild West, shoot them up. All right, they got some cigarettes, they got some water, and they have this, like, single-shot Starlock II pistol. That's pretty hilarious. Uh, these working boots aren't horrible. Glass bottle, tin can. The man had a chainsaw of some kind. Good luck. Oh, he's also got a balaclava. You know you love to see a good... Balaclava, it does resist the cold really well. Um, Isahar, you d your demand for more call nodes is outrageous. You work within the internal system. You have Mars at your disposal. You need to manage with available resources and focus on recruitment. Isahar, your recent behavior is causing concern. Perhaps too many call nodes can lead to disintegration of personality. We will conduct an appropriate research. Remember that the social must always prevail over the personal, Leah. <laughs> Balakalavas indeed. Yes, Fading. So, it's kind of wild. It's unlike Stone Shard where you pick one class and you start out and you just play through in an open world RPG. This is uh, an extraction roguelike and you go into a mission and then you get to choose the person you want to use for that mission and then their class and then like as you're leveling up the class you level up each skill based on usage of different triggers 
but then you can like recruit new people or send old people back out or clone them or reprint them. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, Procrafting Air. Take care, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah, I haven't really done more than one run yet to understand how it works to manage your team and stuff like that. What's in the shelf? Ooh, piece of flesh. This gives you 100 quasi-morphosis. So I'm taking it that if I eat human flesh, quasi-morphosis is like, AKA, you're going crazy. Uh, so, you know, like space, space sanity or whatever. And, um, but if you smoke a pack of cigarettes, you get rid of that. So you can eat the human flesh, get a little quasi, and then smoke a cigarette and feel normal. It's just like regular life. Most cannibalism detox clinics just have crates of cigarettes on hand. All right. Uh, it looks like there's somebody down here. Oh, so does it have like actual benefit? Like you would intentionally want to get quasi? Ride the quasi-morphosis snake slam dance with Mr. Brownstone, as they say. Take that. And you. Take that. It is, Rob. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that would be a spoiler, right? All right, uh, we need to eat that. Quasimodo, indeed. Long blade, weapon component. They have a police baton. And I always like to check out their gear. Not very good, but it's something. All right, so this is a station elevator. I've kind of been avoiding the elevator because I'm trying to look for, you know, what they said was the uh, discrete path through like the ventilation system or whatever uh, that's the auto dock requires charging uh, I don't have any battery cells so there's that but I do have some canned food canned dog food we're gonna eat this and we're gonna just pick up the canned dog food oh boy they're coming Uh, there's an X, server station. Okay, so maybe I should have been looking around more carefully. Anyway. There they come. I actually hope that they line up. Oh, well, they didn't. They have melee weapons, though, which is, like, just terrible for them. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I knocked off some skin and human organs. I mean, you know. Bon appetit. No, that's the quasi way. Free skin indeed. A snick pick. A delicious chocolate cookie. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Um, oh, I can make a first aid kit. Now, the thing about the first aid kit is it's awesome. But if you consume antibiotics, you uh, lose out on the infection-fighting portion of antibiotics. You know what, Siloom? You're so right about that. You've got to quasi-responsibly. You can't just quasi every day. Yeah, you get a quasi-intervention if you do something like that. I'm going to make one med kit because it seems cool. And I also don't know if I get experience or you know benefit from crafting but I'm going to pretend like it's extreme benefit oh wait I'm going to go this way oh yeah I found like a a 
rib, a human bone. Oh. You don't usually just find one rib, but, you know, sometimes things happen. This is one of those times. All right, this guy has a an eagle, like a desert eagle, I guess. I don't see much here, but maybe this is the back way that they were talking about. Oh, there we go. CQC up to level three. Snake has leveled up. Both solid and liquid snake. Would be proud of my CQC abilities when I fight them on top of a submarine. Shirtless. All right. All right, here they are. I think these server stations are blocking my line of sight, but I also think that that's my quest to break the server station. So I'm just gonna throw this grenade there and just kind of move out of the way. It didn't break them as much as I wanted, but I'm gonna use another grenade. Here you go, server station. I like how the door closed. There you go, server station. Oh, you made it. Great job. Pilots began maneuver as soon as the geoscanner beeped that the rogue city guns died. Mission accomplished. Request evacuation and return to the nearest elevator. You know I will. All right, we need to get evac here. The Mission Defense Control Center has been successfully destroyed. We can evacuate. Um, destroyed objectives. Yep, evacuate. Good job. Go back to the elevator. We'll pick you up. Jane, you better not skip out on me this time. Uh, as far as the elevator goes, okay. I mean, I don't know. I'll go over here. Sure. Sure. I'll go to the staircase. That seems good. It's close to the elevator. It's it's like an elevator, except it's a lot more work. All right. Uh, I'm in the warehouses. Ladder up. All right, we got to go up again. I really hope that my pistol recharges, because I'm nothing without it. All right, there we go. That's where I need to go. By the way, I really wish Stone Shard had this, like, map, edge of the map scrolling thing. It's so nice for just quickly moving around the map. I love it. We're out. Okay. Uh, we can go to the control center, but we can also evacuate, and we're going to do that. Mission complete. Agent 18, B293. Successfully evacuated to the mothership. You're darn right. We not only took all the valuables, but also patched up the holes from the boarding shuttles. In Rogue City, we had everything we needed for that. Boss, we also found a PCPU with a database belonging to the ANCOM Corporation. There's a lot of information about quasi-morphosis research. They are willing to generously compensate for our expenses in return for such valuable intellectual property. But of course, we made a copy of all the data from their device. Their agent is ready to meet us in Rebel Sky City in orbit of Mars. Okay. Yeah, not bad, right? We made it. Uh, and so these are the new items that we got, and we put them down here, I guess. So we unload everything from our backpack, I guess. And then we can, you know, suit up next time. Uh, finish the mission. All right. Uh, system map. In front of you, there is a map of the solar system. 
Here you can see which missions are available in different areas and how much time it will take to travel from one point to another. Right now, to deliver the PCPU with quasi-morphic research to ANCOM, we need to go to Mars. Okay. Oh, well, let's go to Mars then. The political situation on Phobos and Deimos is the same as on Mars, but there's no atmosphere. Ah, fair enough. It's Mars. Let's hit it. Start to travel. 16 hours from Phobos to Mars. All right. Here we go. I'm just going in a circle around. Oh, there we go. I'm looking great is what I'm looking. Choose the Reba Sky City to visit. It's a peaceful station, so there's no need to equip the operative who will go there. Also, when we send clones to perform barter, we'll load all the items into the shuttle, so there's no need to make multiple trips if something is forgotten. When you are ready, take the PCPU with the research and send the operative. Okay, so I'm ready. Um, Reba Sky City, RSC. I will have to say, it does seem ominous, like, oh, you don't, you know, it's like Yoda. You, your weapons, you will not need them. Now, it's true, Luke actually didn't need his weapons. Um, but in this case, I feel like if I don't take my weapons, I'm rolling in naked. But let's roll in naked. All right, so we're going to select an operator. Now, I could take Francis, who's been the dude. But I could also pick Victoria, Percy, and Isabella. And I don't know why they have different stats like victoria has a nine range but isn't that dependent on their weapon and not on them personally um oh no they get plus two range on their weapon so you can see they have different abilities like this guy has weapon durability plus 100 percent. that's great see that's been huge for me and my pistol so i'm going to go back with francis i'm sticking with francis i i just trust the guy um and do we want to change our class or our equipment I don't think so. He did get leveled up. He's missions complete too, so he's a sergeant. Let's visit the station. Yeah, we'll just roll in. Say hi to everybody. How's it going? And this is the professor. All right, have you brought us our intellectual property? Boy, that guy's haggard. Great. Find our representative here at the station and deliver the PCPU. To do this, click on the pile of boxes next to him. Place the PCPU in the open inventory window and press exchange. This is how barter works at all peaceful stations where you're allowed to land. When you're done, return to the shuttle and get out of here. Okay, I, I will. Um, okay, they want me to go to the northeast. The operative's up here. That's how I take it. Yep. Station cargo. Are you the... Hello. You brought the books. I apologize. I didn't recognize your profession. We accept the following from you. Oh. Okay. So they'll take all of these different items. Am I at the right place? I am. All right. So let's go here. And station cargo. Well. Um, maybe I didn't bring the right thing. Maybe I could go back to my ship to get the PCPU. I thought I could just, like, click on it. Okay. I messed up, I think. Reva Sky City consists of several modules, residential, educational, and business sections. Due to its location on the border of the inner system, many tenants are tied to this orbital station. This means that the source of rental income will be almost guaranteed for the owner. Okay, I clicked the wrong button. And um, this is the secret data that I need anyway, so I, should, I was supposed to take that. Um, you know, go, go here. And we'll select the operative. Let's do this the smart way. Go to your equipment. There we go. All right, visit the station. Dear God. Okay. Yeah, I did a bad job. Did you bring the intel? I, I left it on the ship. Alright, we'll try it again. Alright, buddy. Now I've got your stuff. 
Ooh, look at the reward. They gave me an assault rifle, um, a nice big backpack, an item chip, unlocks production item, Jeff Hammer MD automatic shotgun. Okay, cool. Um, a gunsmith box. It, re it fixes firearms, and this fixes armor. Sweet. Good work, mercenary. If you need contracts, we regularly distribute them through the SBN channels. Work for us and you'll become rich. That's what we're here for. But if you stand in our way, the consequences will be dreadful. I hope we understand each other. We don't. Um, you got a mission for me? Um, no, they don't. Okay. Well, maybe they do, but... Skull Project me. All right. All right, let's see. Um, we did it. And unload everything. Finish mission. I can't stand these corporates. Boss, what's next? It seems like you and Frank have satisfied your sense of justice. We're free now. There's chaos all over the system. Taking advantage of the sudden appearance of the quasimorphs, the corporations have reshuffled the market. Stations change owners almost every day. Tez, who seems to favor us for its awakening, is squeezing the corporations on Venus. Civil resistance has been showing some furious activity around Mars. Maybe we should try continuing fighting against them if we get paid for it? There's no quasimorphosis there, so it'll be easier. Let's go indeed. Alright, so I guess we can go to the system map and go to Venus. And then start travel. We can terminate orbit, sir. Confirm charge. Go. You are go for the orbit. Roger. In. Yeah, we're just sailing along. Okay, so from here, uh, system map, we're at Venus. There's four things here, which I guess are in yellow. Uh, so we could go to the Clotho node, transport hub, and it's owned by RealWare. The beneficiary is Sunlit Light Coven. Um, this is the uh, Ginseng number two, orbital factory, the space prison, and the spaceport. Okay. The capacity of our mother spacecraft allows us to produce items directly on board. To produce most simple items, we only need a licensed chip. There are examples in history of how one corporation tried to introduce an additional fee for each item produced, but as a result of the Six-Day War, the corporation went bankrupt and all the others refused such monetization. Okay. Uh, so I can produce stuff. So I can um, make these things with the crafting stuff. This is where the, the crafting comes in handy. So uh, I need glass to make morphine. Oh, boy. Yep, nothing like morphine. I'm going to save my stuff. I mean, making a bandage does seem wise, so we'll start it. But then, let's see, how do I take a mission? Like, what happens if I go here? Um, oh, okay, I just click on it. In eliminate 50% of the defenders of Clotho Node. All right. So what do I get if I do this? It's a transit base, all right. Um, so this says, Sunlight Coven is actively increasing its influence in the inner system. The chaos that arose after the message from Venus was used to sabotage, assassinate, spy on competitors, and the civil resistance. From what we're seeing, Sunlight Coven has decided it's time to move on to what is called direct action and white-collar diplomacy. This is where we come into play. Analytical information appears in SBN that Clotho Node represents a loss-making asset for realware. This information is passed to Sunlit Coven. There's a very transparent signal for PMCs, a simple and clear task. We're going in, we're destroying anyone capable of holding a weapon, and we're off before the place becomes another branch of hell. Good idea. We need less branches of hell. Representatives of the customer will carry out the acceptance without us. 
By the way, almost forgot, direct action is a solid reward, and a trusting relationship with Sunlit Coven won't hurt us at all. Okay. Extra, it says, Clotho Node's a transit base under a geodesic dome that former owner Fresco used to access hard-to-reach places in the jungles. For unknown reasons, it's now in complete ruin. Okay, so I'm going to click our operator. We're just going to go with Frank, and... Uh, I'll check his equipment and let's load him out. So he's got this, this got repaired, which I'm so happy about. And I will now take, uh, the first aid kits and I'm going to take the grenades and put them on the old belt. And I'm going to take, oh, can I just use this? Unlock the chip. Yep. There we go. I'm going to take the canned food. I probably won't need it, but just in case. The gunsmith repair kit, I want uh, just in case my gun breaks because I love that gun. Then I could take more grenades. I mean, I'm a huge grenade proponent, so that's fine. We definitely want bandages. Antibiotics. This looks great. Uh, we'll take a little water for healing. Hmm. Oh, I need this ammo. Just in case. I don't really use that, but, you know. The surgical kit. I think this looks good. Start it up. There are 10 seconds left before landing. Clearing the station for capture is methodical work. Move slowly. As soon as the security guards or PMCs guarding Clotho Node realize that the battle is lost, they will retreat or lay down their weapons. Usually it's enough to destroy 50% of the combatants. Keep an eye on the indicators, but if you feel that you have enough strength and supplies, then you can explore this place. Other than capture, nothing else is included in the contract, and the customer will accept Clotho Node anyway. Well, traditionally, welcome to the world of healthy and fair competition. All right, let's go. Okay, it's the world of healthy and fair competition. It's a geodesic dome in the jungle. What could go wrong? All right, let me check the map really quickly. I don't see any baddies. Now, as far as I have noticed, the game seems to automatically stop if you sight an enemy, an employee card. Yeah, take it. We need access for sure. What's on the bookshelf here? Uh, I'll take the ammo. Ooh, well, another gunsmith box. Now I feel foolish for taking it, but that's all right. Can't have too many. That's empty, that's empty. Let's go over here. Check this container. The Rough Cleaver. Good stuff. Alright, we're going in. Oh my gosh. I hate standing next to explosive barrels. These people are asleep, though. Is it wrong to just throw a grenade by them okay it didn't go where I wanted it to go okay thank you so much um, Quaff that's what I was hoping for now I don't know if anybody got hit there but it was a joyous occasion I'm just gonna wait here we go I don't want to be anywhere near these barrels Oh, this guy fell asleep again. What's wrong with you? Why are they always sleeping on the job? They're not paid paid enough to stay awake. Boy, I'm bad at shooting. Get him. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, ooh, great stuff. You got any good armor? 
Nah, your stuff stinks. That's good. Bandage. I'll take it. What about you? Tab two. Take it all. How's your backpack? It's god awful. Actually, your boots looked okay. Were they good? No. Working boots. It's a shotgun. I do love shotguns. But my CQC. Jeans. Someone left their jeans out in the jungle. I'm not going to ask any questions. Uh, somnia. Oh, this is why everybody's falling asleep. Maybe because of this Somnia. Next phase. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. I mean, it's good for me that they always fall asleep. This weapon pierces, so... The hallway situation is so good for me. You got anything? No, you got garbage. You should be ashamed that you're not carrying stuff. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat your moo beef in a vial. Um, I'm going to eat this too. Some plastic. That's just terrific. This looks like a pool filled with blood. Corky juice. Sure. The old corky juice. Uh, this is a mag vest. Nah, very similar to what I have. Okay. We're going down here. Uh oh, bad guy. Oh, that's right. I'll shoot you. Don't think I won't. Long blade. Uh, all right, sure. How? Well, it raised my combat focus. The phenomenon in which a creature is torn from the inside and a quasi-morph appears in its place is called an ecolapse. That's one way to call it. That seems like too nice of a euphemism for uh, what is happening here. The first move of the newly appeared quasi-morph is invulnerable. That's bad. It phases between our and their realities. At this moment, it makes no sense to fire at it. It's better to make a, tac uh, make a tactically more advantageous position. Okay, so it, we've spawned a a demon quasi-morph alien from another dimension, so we should make a tactical maneuver. Good idea. So this triggered Blind Fury because I took damage and also Combat Focus, which are both really good. No, I want you to... I can't see the bad guy, though. Where'd it go? There it is. It made sense to fire out at that time. Alright, we need some noodles after that fight. Good God. Am I right? Well, I just saw somebody come in from another dimension. Chicken noodle soup is the way to be. Alright, they have the... Uh, Hoiple thigh wrap. And they have this... Crescent blade. The tox cattle. Oh, yeah, one of those. Um, knife maker's box. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. I think I found somebody's box for making knives. Oh, that's a rag. We do need rags. Go get that. Totally noodles. Just noodles. Delicious noodles, nothing else. All right, how are we doing on the mission here? The task is simple. Destroy 50%. Um, okay. Okay. So we got one floor done. Floor two and three we need to finish. I like how she's like, floor one, clear. Um, I see a... Oh my god. 
I mean, that's what I get. I just shot that guy like four times and didn't hit him once. And then he was like, let me show you how we kill people. It actually didn't hurt me. Like, no, I think uh, my armor probably took a lot of damage there. It pushed me back, but it didn't actually damage me, which is something I can get behind. This is an AR, Autonomous Robot. Oh, this guy is good against my stuff. Uh, what do you do? You do... Um, I don't know. Plasma generator damage type. This guy doesn't care about my gun, so I'm just going to see if this hits him. I mean, kind of. This guy's not getting hurt. Oh, you have to look at the ammo for other gun damage types? Okay, thank you. So, then this thing is doing um, fire damage. Oh, okay, so... Oh, okay, thank you. That makes sense. So this guy is doesn't care about fire at all, and I should just use my other weapon. It's actually better against him. Kind of. Jeez. That guy was tough. All right, I mean, he didn't hit us, but it could have been bad. Take it. You're dead. Because you crossed me. Don't you understand? If you wouldn't have crossed me, you could have lived a good life. This is on you. And your decision making. Alright, I'm going to put those like that. And I'm getting a little hungry here, so... Looking for food. Anybody of you guys have that beef moo moo? This is the final struggle. The final struggle? I guess so. There you go. That's right. Exactly. Let's see if that robot opens the door. Doesn't look like it. They're kind of staying back there. Grasp. I don't really know what this means. It's, I guess it means the quasimorphosis is getting worse. And I should um, not just dilly-dally. Alright, there's a quasi. I need that. I need to eat that. It's delicious. Yeah, you had the usual stuff there. Another splint. Lots of splints happening. This guy's like, I had my chainsaw. It uh, didn't do very well for me. No, it didn't. All right. Let's go over here. So I've been really killing a bunch of things. And they said I only need to eliminate 50%. I don't know how much we're talking about. But I feel pretty good about how many things I've killed. I'll take the elevator to the next... Well, there is a section down here I didn't do. That's fine. Oh, there's some chicken on the floor, too, or some moo-moo. I'll go get that. Eat up. 
Now it's an intrusion, so I definitely should, you know, probably be moving faster. I'm gonna eat that. Take that. I gotta wait for you to... What in God's name are you? Acolyte? Oh, you're like a fully equipped jerk. I will wait. You're gone. Look, if you guys are going to wait back there, you can. That's on you. You coming? No? Boy, that enemy AI, they're like, I ain't moving. There they go. All right, fine. Come on. I blew up the cover. There you go. This music is hilarious, by the way. All right, so I'm going to see... Um, this fixes firearms at 60. Yeah, definitely. It looks like a pretty smart AI. It was like, I'll just wait there. Brutal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and repair this. It repaired it fully. Wow, that's so awesome. Okay. A cutter. That is some flesh. Just all the nice stuff. I could just wear this tribal gear. And I'd look really... i blend in. Alright. Now I think it's time to go to the next floor. So maybe it doesn't mean 50% total enemies, but 50% per floor. I don't know. Okay, 10 targets on this floor. Yeah, I think I didn't need to kill everybody. I think I could have gone a lot faster. I... I thought it was 50% total, but I think you have to do a little bit on each floor. Oh my. Okay, so I wasted time, like, building up the um, quasi when I didn't need to. That was my fault. I did. I'm so used to in roguelikes, like, completely clearing the floor, but there was no need to do it. Uh-oh. I pushed the wrong button there. I got hit badly. Okay. So, well, it leveled us up a bit. All right. Gives us a chance to actually use a health item. Okay. So, we have a... Um, a fracture. All right. And we have some infection going on. All right. So, that should take care of everything. It did. You know, the last uh, mission I went on, I had way more food that I was finding around. Not getting as much free food this time. Yeah, I like that a lot, too. Um, quaff that you can like solve the problems how you want are these boots good no
table's in the way. Not anymore. You got anything good? Look, at this point, I'm just looking for some food. You guys got any food? Okay, actually, that's good stuff. Well, I don't think I need that many, but that's pretty good. They really want you to eat the flesh. I'm not there yet. I'm not into that. Alright, um... Let's go this way. That is an eyeball. A human eye. A green jacket. And just a random... Severed ear. Not good. I know. I will be for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's dead. I was like, why do you keep moving? I walked right into it because it was, uh... <laughs> I couldn't shoot it because it was already dead. Uh, I'll take this, sure. What you got? You got nothing. You're a disgrace. I'm going to starve to death. Oh, boy. They're like, no, you won't starve to death. You can just eat the meat that we're giving you for free. What's the problem? I know, Rob. It does feel like that, right? I don't know what size um, means from the chainmail bulletproof vest. Like, I'm losing size, but it gives me more protection. Oh, backpack size? Maybe it does mean that. No, it doesn't mean that. I can't wear this. Unless it goes down here. Oh, it goes down here. Oh, okay. So it's only I get one item, but it's really good for armor. I I just assume I was wearing it here. That was my fault. Yeah, okay. Honestly. That is okay with me. It is less space, but man... Um, that's good armor. I'm all about it. Okay, we need to go to floor three. Oh, but I, I don't think I can get there from the, here. Go, go to this elevator. Floor three, baby. Frank the Tank is right. Oh, oh my god. There's so many baddies. Alright. Uh, yes! Oh, they had noodles and beef. Oh, it was delicious. Uh, we won't be taking that, but that's okay. Hydra 12... Yeah, yeah, sure. The Hydra 12. Oh. Hi. I didn't see you. Alright. That's a lot of explosive barrels. Oh, God. I don't want to be caught in this hallway. It just... 
Explosion after explosion. Yeah, yeah, take that. Sorbin. This is actually pretty good. Alright. I always prioritize stuff that might keep me alive. Ow! Oh, I was talking about... Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm about to die. Uh... Yeah, that went badly. I missed a few times on this guy. And it's all gone downhill. And I keep missing this guy. Can I hit somebody? There we go. Okay, that's not ideal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's painful. Taskmaster? This is why this guy... Okay, he's about to die. All right, um... Let's go in. We're going to fix this up. We're going to get this right. Okay. It's looking grim, but here's what we're going to do. Abdominal frostbite. Burn. Thigh burn. All right. Um... Oh, darn. I was doing so well. I didn't realize that it would... I guess, of course, it takes a turn to do that. I should have just shot the person and not tried to do anything. Ah, <sighs> but we did okay. It was... Uh, the explosive barrel in the hallway was brutal. I should have just, like, blown... You know what killed me was the fact that I just missed so many times in a row. If I would have hit them... Would have been okay, but I could have just blown up the explosive barrels in before I went in to avoid that happening. It was just an unfortunate situation. Like I don't know how many fuel barrels you need to store in a geodesic dome. Like it, it doesn't seem like a good idea, but it it wrecked me. I I could have maybe fired and tried to survive right there. I think it would have been a better play. I didn't have anything that instantly healed, right? Like, I had the med kit, but that puts a regeneration on. It doesn't heal you instantly. So Jane says, clones often die on missions. There's nothing to be done about it. Um, oh, okay, thank you. You can... Left click and remove the fuel. Thank you. I was just going to explode them. But yeah, that's that's a lot better because it doesn't make noise. Ah, Rob, you know, that's you're right it was. But I think, yeah, I, if I just more methodically clear out the, the exploding barrels, I would have had a chance. There were some unfortunate misses there as well. But, you know, as she says, cl clones often die, but there's nothing to be done. But on the other hand, any clone can be reprinted on a bioprinter. Plus, we have insurance for such cases, which partially compensates for the lost equipment. To do this, find the emergency case in the Magnum's inventory, right-click it, and select Dismantle. All right, so we go to the spacecraft, and we find the emergency case, and we disassemble it. And then we get some of the stuff back, I suppose, from the run. And we could try to make, you know, food, first aid kits, different items. And we can make another first aid kit. Sweet. So we're doing that. 
And at this point, you know, we could just go on another mission. Uh, like, we could just click on, you know, we could try it again. And we could select this operative. Now, um, Francis has no class. And so what happens is he's a rookie. He's got nothing. But we could select class and we could be like, hey, go back to this. And uh, this would be where he starts. And then... No, he starts at level zero. I kind of thought maybe we'd pick up some of what we had gained, but I guess not. Um, so we have to start him over at nothing. And then we have to equip him, you know, with nothing. So we lost all of the good gear that we have, which is brutal. But we can start over, you know, with... Uh, sort... Maybe some stuff that's better, but, you know, equip that, I guess. Equip. Equip. We're going to have to find, like, all new stuff. We do have the assault rifle, though. We could just, you know, use this. And then uh, we have turrets, which we could put down. This takes... Uh, this type of bullet is piercing, and then this type of bullet that it also uses is, well, also piercing. These are better, but I just don't have as many of them. I need a backpack. I do have a good backpack. I need a vest, and I actually don't see a vest on me, so I'll have to find a vest in the field. Yeah, see, this is what I should have taken, is this Dr. Jones surgical kit. This would have saved my life if I would have had that. So it's just good to know, like, which items are better. Uh, I don't really need that. I do need food, though. No, I have some food. I'll take a little bit more. And then, do I want to just take... Uh, Another gun with me that's, you know, the Silent Eagle. The submachine gun. I never really switch weapons too often, so I think it's okay to just, you know, go with... Uh, one, like that. And then this is, that's fine, that's okay, we need water for quick healing, and we'll, we'll just get more stuff when we're out in the field and try to, you know, build up again. But honestly, um, I think this is a super fun game, and... I know I have a lot of work to do to, you know, catch up to uh, improve, but I think the tutorial was a lot of fun, and I understand what's going on, and I love that you die, but it's not permadeath. You come back, and you have a clone, and then you do lose, you know, your stats, but then you still have your equipment, and you can move on from there. So I'm excited about... Uh, experiencing this game for the first time and to see what happens as we get a little bit further everyone it is indeed my bedtime however and i want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream i hope you all have an excellent evening or day we're going to be trying out some icarus for the first time tomorrow night if you're interested in seeing what that's all about alex crab grim rob quaff thank you for all your help my friend Siloom, fading Emmy, Tambo, Santiago, Christian, Procrastinator, Devon, Jamnuska, everybody out there, take care, have a great one.